What's up guys, my name is Paige. As per usual, I am filming on a phone because I forgot everything that I need to do projects. This time for a Cerakote project, I have another set of Rel Spurs. Um, these ones are actually engraved. So I have not done any sort of uh, Cerakote on the engraving before. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. They're held in with, let's see. They're held in with a pin. Tansy. I forgot to get the rowels off of the counter, so I gotta go get those. Tansy. I don't know that 100 degrees sounds amazing. I think I'd. 40. 40 degrees warmer, that would make it 90. I'll go for like a stout 82. I think I like this one. The spurs aren't fully submerged. I'm going to let them sit for five minutes. Uh, I've got some gloves here and then I'm going to kind of rotate them and just kind of try to get as much like they shouldn't really have too much grease on them but they will have horse hair, horse dirt, um, that sort of stuff. Just grime from those. Um, so I want to make sure that's all off before I go and put them into the blasting cabinet. Figuring out how to hang the different parts is how I spend most of my time. Because I know that this little button is going to be showing on one side, and so is this tail. I feel okay trying to grab it in the center to paint it. Um, it's going to be a different story when I'm actually blasting it. I'm going to be blasting inside of this little container that I made out of a bean dip container to hold small parts. I also have these, which I need to probably get something in the center. And I don't want, I don't want them to just like flail around. So if I were to use something like this, it might work out or it could just spin really violently. And I have to make sure that this big piece in front of it's not gonna create a huge shadow. So, and they may just end up spinning like that anyway. And that's not stable. So I do have a small piece of wire, which still may have the same issue, but it's a smaller um, piece in the way. So now that I have an idea of how they're going to hang, um, I'm going to check the ones that are gonna get painted into here. Um, these are going to be going mongoose, these are going to be going black, and then these, I think I'm probably, I haven't quite decided if I want to do black and mongoose with those yet. Um, but the black goes on first, and then the mongoose gets mixed with this. I usually do it in the actual spray gun, um, or like not in the spray gun, but like I don't, I don't dump this into here because I use it for other stuff. I'm going to use a high gloss this time instead of the matte. Um, just give them a little bit more pizzazz. this section down here um, and just spray the um, attachment point like the straps sit like this so a lot of it's hidden anyway <laughs>
So, the small parts are in the small oven. Um, I'm going to completely cure the brass spurs, or the, the, the rowel parts. Um, and I think I'm going to completely cure the, um, the pin that holds them together. I'm going to pull out, at a 10 minute mark, the silver portion, the engraved portion of the spurs, because I think I'm going to make that go mongoose. And then over here, I got two minutes left on a timer for the spur bodies, which, let's see, that are in there. And my plan for those is once they have tacked off so I can touch them, basically, I'm going to remove all the tape, and then I'm going to go spray them. Then uh, I will... Um, I will um, spray the mongoose. Except in all my infinite wisdom, I forgot that the... Mongoose is supposed to be applied wet on wet. So these will just hang out. These are the silver parts, or the originally silver parts with the engraving on them. They're in the oven for five minutes, so hopefully it shouldn't cause a problem. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the clear and my pearl. It's been a little chaotic, but that's okay. And then as soon as I get that mixed, get them sprayed, and get them baking, and I can go get some lunch because I am hungry. <laughs>